Ricardo Radulovic, an agricultural water scientist from Costa Rica, wants to transform greenhouse gas and ocean pollution into food for the poor. Small algae is pond scum. Big algae is seaweed. When it comes to storing carbon, seaweed forests make the world's rainforests look like potted plants. The giant kelp, Macrocystis, can grow a meter every two days and becomes as tall as a redwood tree in a couple months. These underwater forests are home to some of the most diverse ecosystems in the world. Marine biologists have called Macrocystis the sequoia of the seas. Doctors instruct us to eat low calorie, high fiber, high protein, low fat, with high omega-3 fat. You can't get that from wheat, corn, or cows. Where on earth are we supposed to find this perfect food? The base of the food chain. Algae are some of the most productive and nutritious plants in the world. By mixing seaweed flour with wheat flour, Ricardo is working to end malnutrition in the developing world, which is where he comes from. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation helped Ricardo found the Sea Gardens Project, which teaches the poor how to grow floating farms which can be scaled up to any size. You think algae is gross? You eat algae every day. Algae is in ice cream, milk, sausages, toothpaste, salad dressings, muffins, medicines. Algae is used in makeup, paints, adhesives, dyes, and the fertilizers that nourish land crops. Algae is like electricity. It infuses everything. Humans eat food and create sewage. Algae eat sewage and create food humans eat. Why are we ignoring this symbiosis? Ricardo and others propose that massive algae farms could be stationed near polluted coastal waters all over the world to gobble up the products of untreated sewage, creating biomass we can use to feed and fuel the world. As these farms profited and scaled up in size, wildlife would return to the purified waters. This is better than sustainable. This is restorative. 70% of the world's available fresh water is used for agriculture. Between a quarter and a half of all land is used for agriculture, and the world needs more. Algae farms require no fresh water, no soil, no pesticides, and on the ocean they can expand to any size. Unlike land crops, algae grow and harvest year-round. Algae don't suffer from droughts or floods. They grow in a stable, year-round environment. All they need to ramp up to colossal proportions is carbon pollution and nutrient pollution, two things humanity is producing in colossal quantities. There is the possibility of producing seaweeds, fish, shrimp, oysters, and, and many other products directly at sea without needing a single drop of fresh water. Algae farms are already taking baby steps and expanding into the seas. Algae farms will continue to scale up in size, detach, move out, and lay the agricultural foundation for an ocean city. It's time to begin the transition from agriculture to aquaculture with new nations on the sea. So the possibilities are many and we are barely beginning to exploit them. The area available to produce at sea is enormous. The amount of water available to produce at sea is enormous. So we shouldn't be at all worried that we're going to run out of food, we're going to run out of water. Of course, if we keep on producing only on land, that may happen. It is happening already. But the sea represents the next agricultural landscape. We have to change our frame of, frame of mind. If this vision inspires you, become a member of the Seasteading Institute. We could use the help. 
Click on the issue you care about below, and maybe we can convince you to join our growing seasteading community.